Thank you for Sorry. Thank you for joining this webinar and I'll try to be as um, useful, as productive as possible. I'm going to show my portfolio uh, that I've never shown before. And I know that there are no information like this on the internet, like uh, you can only secretly know it through other designers. So stay, um, stay turn, tune on. <laughs> so I'm... Xenia and I'm self-taught designer. Uh, I started as a graphic designer back in Ukraine. It was like 10 years ago. Uh, excuse me, and, you, can you please mute yourself because we hear a lot of sounds. Yeah, you go. Do you know how to mute? Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, and then I was working as a um, uh, web designer in IT company back in Ukraine, uh, creating the landing pages. But and then after uh, I moved here in US, uh, I didn't have work visa, so I had like a gap between jobs, and I was trying to be an artist. And after I got the um, work permission, uh, I started to work with um, startups here in the USA and uh, yeah now it's my first corporate job on Facebook so yeah. this was my path why you decided to become a designer like in the first place um I've I have a creative mind and a passion to art so first it was uh, the artist um the artist interest like I used to study um, craft in college so wanted to be around the art but then uh, I understand that for the art it's really hard to make money so I started to look around what I can do to still use my knowledges about related to art and but make money as well and uh, did you study design? Like, did you study it somewhere? I studied craft. So it's like, it's a, like an art college. It's when you go from eighth grade to continue. It's like, it's like not a degree. It's kind of like pre-degree. <laughs> so I studied art. Uh, but we've never opened anything like computer. We've never learned like any Photoshop or any Adobe related program, anything like that. So did you learn it yourself? You, you didn't go to study it and you like you self-taught? I, uh, I went to one course. It was like after job course, like a few days uh, a week. Uh, to be like a graphic designer, but I didn't have money to finish it. <laughs> so I studied only two yeah. months and I realized like, oh, they're, they're like, they giving us some Photoshop knowledge. I can watch it on the YouTube, but for free. So yeah, I, I've tried to study it, but then um, I, I just went online and saw there was a bell on the YouTube. Hey, you go. Uh, can you please mute yourself again? Uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> um, okay. Um, and which programs did you learn? Like, except, except uh, uh, Photoshop, like Figma, which programs do you use? And did you learn how to use? Uh, so if, if we're talking about the begin, like beginning of my career as a designer, we only used the Photoshop like for everything. We, we used to use the Photoshop for building websites. But yes, for now we use Figma uh, and almost forgot about the Photoshop. So for now, if you ask me like what, um, what we should learn as a designer, it's probably Figma and that's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. One program is enough. For, for the beginning, yes, for sure. And was it difficult to find the, your first job in US as a designer? Um, and yes and no. So as I as uh, as I told, I didn't have a work visa, and um, 
and I don't remember even probably when I uh, before even I had the work visa I started to work for startups but for free so just to gain some experience and mostly to put something to portfolio so when I uh, when I've got the work visa, I just started to ask around like all my friends who has a, a job for me. Um, so through through friends, I found the Legion farm, and it wasn't. Um, and again, it was like for uh, for gaining some experience and. Um, and portfolio and to like put something into the portfolio so I wouldn't say that it was hard because my first experiences was for free <laughs> and it's not not hard to find <laughs> places where you can work for free <laughs> but then and the second step it was just ask uh, around and um, ask ask for a job and what did you do for these startups for free? Like, did you do UX UI design? Yeah. Did you do like websites? What did you do? Yeah, UX UI design. For example, one of the projects, it was Broccoli. And uh, it was, um, I put together, it, it was actually like a very important story that very influenced me and my career path because they, to start, so portfolio in Ukraine, I had a portfolio in Ukraine, but then portfolio for USA, it's a very different one. So basically I didn't have portfolio and I needed to start everything from scratch. I needed to build the portfolio from scratch because web designer and product designer is like two different universes that they're not even cross crossing their path. So um, I put together I, uh, a group of designers who are also looking for a job and told them, oh, you need a portfolio. Let's do one project together. And then we all have like one project in, in our portfolios. But this way, at least uh, we have more people and more energy to start and finish it. So we wrote a message to all again, our friends or like some Facebook groups that we're a group of very experienced designers with, <laughs> with like, from two to five years of experience, <laughs> we're looking for a startup uh, that we can help again for free. Uh, and we had like a list of startups that we are in, we were interviewing to work with us. <laughs> so, okay. And where did you post it? Uh, I, um, I think there was like open, uh, there were some uh, communities for startups. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember the name right now of the website. On deck? No. no. On deck. No, there were like kind of like a Telegram, where for but for startups, and it was like a, uh, it was a startup itself. I'm not sure that it's uh, right now. I think it's super person. smart what you did. You know, it's like. <laughs> one brain is good two is much better and if you have a group of brains like exactly yes i i think it was like i think this is what boosted my portfolio because i was trying to it's so hard to build it especially when you don't know how to do it and and you don't ha have projects so this was uh this was like uh the way how I did it and I think this is something to use. Um, that was this, your idea? Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, and because we had, and when we started to do this task, so we found this broccoli, we interviewed like around six uh, startups. We felt connected with the broccoli startup and we, and then we, when we started to work, we're like, looked at each other and like we don't know what to do like oh my god what we should do so this way we found a mentor and it's much easier to find a mentor for five people because she she look she sees that oh there are some cool people doing something uh, so she started to help us and we started to have this 
calls like maybe two times a week and she's just uh, saying uh, we're saying okay now you should do the, the research now you should do the persona um, per persona exercise now you should do this exercise and we're like okay <laughs> no what no what <laughs> that was fun uh and and this would answer um, the question um was it hard to find the first the first uh, job and probably how to put your first piece portfolio yeah let's say it was not hard it was interesting like your pass is very unusual I think. <laughs> uh and uh how did you get the job with facebook was it difficult like was it a long road to take yeah so uh uh, working in Legion Farm in this startup, I mm, at the same time after work I was working on my portfolio and uh, whatever I did in Legion Farm I was trying to uh, p digest and put it into the portfolio. And as soon as I finished it, um, so I had three pieces in my portfolio, so this broccoli and two from Legion Farm. And as soon as I finished, um, I opened, I checked this mark on the LinkedIn that I'm open for a job. And uh, the rec recruiter started to write me and uh, I started to have calls with them. So um, there were some, there are some recruiters that they're not from companies or corporate corporate world they are from agencies uh and they um so one of such recruiter um so i started to have calls just to check it. first first step is just to have a check in call with the, the recruiter from the company or from uh anywhere and they're just checking like are you <laughs> can, you talk, can you talk on the phone that's it but just some experience just like if you're a nice person to talk to mm -hmm. um and um after after that we had uh the call so after that when he checked that i'm a um, normal person he started to put me into schedule with the um, teams on the facebook so the first uh call and it technically i found um, technically i'm a contingent worker on facebook but uh, working through the agency this would be the right way to say it and uh, this way it's much quicker to find to start to work like usually to get to the facebook you need like around three months or half of the year going through like five uh, or six uh, interviews this took me only two interviews and uh, uh, one month probably I was searching and another when they s told me that yes we are interested in you uh, no probably two months I was uh, searching and one month I was waiting when they do the background check mm -hmm. so um, summarizing um i i checked the mark on the linkedin that i'm open for a, a job uh the uh, i've got about uh, i've got about like i don't know 20 messages there so i went through all of them one of them was from my recruiter from the agency uh, i started to have calls and uh, one of these um, recruiters uh, and others as well but this one uh, started to put me to facebook uh, exactly uh, a company teams and th the first uh, call i failed um, but the second call with another team on facebook um i got in uh and the second one was they said yes we we want you to start so Let's can... talk about the one that you failed this is the most interesting part uh why you think you <laughs> failed I, I think it, it was like my the first ever call with any team and it was like with the facebook and uh, uh and i didn't have the um the presentation that we're going to see later i didn't have the presentation so he put me on the call and said oh it's an 
it's in two days can you do this but it's with facebook and i'm like yes i can do this of course but then i'm like putting putting the the phone i'm like uh oh i don't have the presentation yet i have the portfolio but then i thought that uh yeah i thought that i'm going to do this presentation on the go while i was i'm going to uh search for 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 a job so i didn't have it so i started to put it together and i finished it like 30 minutes before the call <laughs> and i didn't have and i didn't sleep and i didn't have time to to um, to read through first so i think that, that there might be some mistakes just like just so you basically just overstressed about it yes i it was my first ever interview with any team plus i didn't sleep plus i finished the presentation just like 30 minutes ago i didn't go through it uh and i over i also did one like two minutes more than it should be so it should be less it should be about 25 minutes and i did 27 and i didn't give them the time to ask me questions so it was like little here and there uh, oh, it's super strict so it's 25 minutes and that's it yes okay. you, and you need to finish and if you do more it's not good because they understand that you're not prepared you know oh and you you talk uh, um you mentioned your portfolio that it played a very uh big role in you getting this job and um, can you talk more about it like what should be in your portfolio for like facebook to want you like and how to create this portfolio maybe you can show us some examples mm -hmm. i also wanted to, to say another um good um another important thing i think what what helped me to get this job um i was taught Uh, of mine that somehow should synchronize with either values of the company or with the values of the team so I, every time when I was um, preparing myself to the interview I was thinking how can I um, how can I tell them that my passion is their project or something like that mm -hmm. so um, when they ask me one, why I want to have this job uh, and this was a project within the communities, like within mm -hmm. the groups. So I work in groups as a product designer. Um, and I all I, groups, basically, like all the groups and yeah, okay. Yeah. But we call it communities because kind of like we're building community. And this is very, and this very resonated with me yeah. because we're also building the community with, you know, Oh, like with the fellow designers and <laughs> yeah so I, I told them oh I like community is very important uh, in my life uh, because for, I'm from Ukraine and uh, my family is far away so I feel that be part of the community is kind of like I have a family v2 and I'm a part of the communities kind of like uh, this Russian entrepreneurs uh, Shmid 16 for example and it's very important for me and I feel like it's it kind of like it it truly um, uh, gives me the some sort of feeling of the family and I was creating the community of artists when I only came to the USA in San Francisco so I was an admin of the Facebook group and I saw that uh, this really um, worked I mean, it was true, but uh, it was emotional, <laughs> like to say that, oh, community is important for me just because it's kind of like giving me the sense of the family. So I think it's uh, kind of like, it's easy to, to empathize and to remember this person who said something like that. So I think it was a, another part of why I got this job. And uh, so always think about how can you align your values with this project so people understand that it's not only a job for you, but it's something that you are thinking that you would understand this, this would be interesting for you, not just because you're going to have money for it. 
and for the portfolio um designers uh, so what i love like absolutely love about the designers that we honestly we don't need uh education like like nobody look at your education i have um marketing degree but uh, and i don't have any designer degree or anything related re related to that and it doesn't matter like at all like if you have um, experience as a designer or and good portfolio this is only what they are looking at and this is amazing it means that you can start to be a designer you can like build a portfolio and be a designer that's it like you don't need to to study anywhere or or to anything like that so and designers we need and website and um, as a portfolio and presentation and this is two different things and uh, i didn't know that <laughs> nobody knows that i don't know why but nobody talks about it like you um uh when they send you oh like prepare your presentation you're like surprise what is it what is what is the presentation and then you go to your <laughs> the portfolio <laughs> yeah like is it a website no it's a different it's a presentation i'm like okay and then you go to your uh friends designers who work like who had some experience and they said yeah 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 you should do the presentation no no it's very different from the website no it's totally different from the website okay where can you read it oh nowhere <laughs> how can i understand what should be there oh you just don't understand <laughs> it's so, more about self-presentation because like this thing is very important in us like to be able to self-present and like self-selling even sometimes isn't it about it uh, i'll show you the uh, let me share the screen uh and uh, i'll show you the how look the web how the website look you like, should be able to share it, try it. Yeah, perfect. So uh, this is how the websites look. Usually you should put there around not, not less than two, uh, not probably more than five cases. We, we, we say case, cases. So I had uh, two cases from Legion Farm and uh, one broccoli and uh, my CV. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, when you click on it, uh, um, it's pretty big. Like you try to do, uh, it's pretty long. You try to share like everything, every little detail on the, on this project. Uh, you're showing your design exercises and design workshop that you did uh some additional material because for me it's the first time i see the designer's portfolio I, i'm from marketing and uh, i i never really hired a designer uh so uh here you basically um the writing is like you walk through your decision process like you basically say why you did this and why you choose this color okay uh, not in, not even the color we we call ourselves product designers uh for a reason like every, if you if you hear like product manager or like product something uh it's, it means uh, that this person work with uh, problem solving with the product and uh, with the um, analytics and so on so it's um, here uh, at, at this case we're talking about the problem that mm -hmm. we're we need to solve and it's um and then uh, we're saying the goal and uh, we're saying that we did the research or somebody did the research and we just uh, digest it and understand it and um uh, the the design workshop is more about um, how we uh, how we understand the problem and how we what tools we were using to try to solve this problem um, pain points and user personas uh, and like 
your UX process, how you're going to solve this problem, just different flows and so on. Uh, so it's, it's not less about colors, it's more about this is the problem. This is how I'm going to solve it through the design. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you show the results. Uh, and uh, it, the most important is um, say the learnings and like what results did you have. So the same case uh, in, so what's the difference between um, portfolio and presentation then that in presentation you need to say it in a very short version um and this was how my presentation looked like and uh, this is the same um this is the the same project new deals redesign um where i say in a very short way what was the problem a uh, little bit more emotionally like what was the goal and i put it on a different uh, slides so it's easy to read um so i don't know you you can somehow compare that this is more easy light way saying telling the story through your presentation similar but more short and uh, more like easy to um, under like easy to understand do you have a recommendation like how many slides should be in this presentation or like a time frame like how long it should take um... uh, yes so we can go through the structure and uh, first um, you say three facts about me. So th the structure should be agenda, three facts about me, and uh, two projects. And those two projects, you should, they, you should choose them um, wisely. They should be very different. Like there are some like qualities or um, skills that designers should know. For example, UX, uh ux ui problem solving and so on and you need to choose two projects that showing uh as much skills as possible for example one of my project was more about the ui redesign and um, um, trying to um, uh, to simplify a lot of very difficult uh, information to a very simple light solutions and another my project was about um probably it was about the broccoli right I, I, it was like one year ago so i already forgot oh no it was also from the legion farm okay yeah so i uh, yeah another my project was more about the problem solving and um trying like uh, I was telling that, oh, we had three hypotheses and this is how we chose it. And this is how we were understanding, did the iterations and this is how we uh, had the, the result and so on. So two different projects where you can show that you are good in all of the, um, in all of the knowledges that need designers to know. So back to the structure. Um, should, here should be the agenda before. I didn't know that, but now I know. Uh, you, after the first slide, you say, oh, the, this is what we are going to talk today. And you're saying, first, we will, I'll share some information about myself. Second, I'm going to talk about this project. And third, I'm going to talk about this project. And this will, will take like five minutes, like one minute, five minutes, or like 25 minutes and, and so on. Then you share three facts about me. Why it is important? Because um, they want to understand uh, how you fit into the culture of their company. Who are you as a person? I've heard that uh, two, different, um, two different opinions about what should be at this uh, 
uh, here. Well, you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, part. Uh, first, that you can sh show that, oh, you have hobbies, you have a dog, you have a kid. Uh, but, uh, and they said, oh, it's important for the corporate world, but definitely never, probably never try to use it for startups. Mm -hmm. I I don't believe that that I have a dog. I don't have a dog, but if I had, <laughs> that this information would help me. So I usually, my personal choice is to share more about, uh, more about my background design and that I'm passionate about the design. So I say that I'm from Ukraine because I hear it's like my joke that, oh, that's why you hear my accent and, or like, I, I can joke about it. So, um, and then the second I'm saying that I have a background in visual art and UI design. And why isn't it important? Because a lot of product designers, they don't have this background. So this is kind of like showing me in a good um, way. and. Third, what I'm sharing again is very related to design. This is shows my passion about the design. That oh, I love to, I love to talk about the design. So I have a YouTube channel and Telegram channel, and there's this is how many subscribers I have, and I like to share my experience. And now I'm <laughs> on this webinar, <laughs> so it's not it's not about my career path, but it it's some facts that shows that I actually love design and this is the way I can sell it. Um, and then um, here I'm just showing what um, what other skills do I have. I, I didn't see these part in other portfolios, so it's not that important, I guess. This is a presentation that you, you did for Facebook. Yeah, it was th this exact presentation that they um, hired me. And um, I know that usually nobody use any emojis <laughs> or mem emojis. And I was very afraid if I if it's okay to use them. Is it like too informal? But I showed this presentation to around three, four of my friends, designers, and they said, no, actually, it's, it's okay because you uh usually they all look very similar and very boring so it's really easy to track the um, uh <laughs> like what person wants to say and this attracts somehow um i don't know yeah, it's like different from boring presentations that they usually see probably and facebook is a social media it cannot be even though it's a big corporation, it cannot be too serious, <laughs> I think. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So probably in the next, my portfolio, now I'm, I'm going to uh, do a new portfolio, putting probably one project from Facebook. So I think I'm going to leave some of the, like this, General, in general, this style of the emojis, I'm going to continue. Most of your emojis are angry or <laughs> sad <laughs> or, because negative or swearing. Reviews. Yeah, negative reviews. Uh, so uh, as you see, I have here 53 slides. Um, try to um, try to memorize everything and, um, and, and uh, like um, try it in front of the mirror in front of your friends in in front of your uh, mentors oh actually I need to say something very important about the mentor because um, after we did broccoli and I realized that I need to do the uh, the portfolio for the website and portfolio as a presentation, I realized that I have no idea how to tell the story about my projects. Like to do the to do the projects is uh, okay, but how to tell the story about the projects is a totally different thing. And especially being kind of like uh, understanding that these projects are not perfect. Like for example, in Legion Farm. It's a real startup. It's very successful. I believe that they're going to become a unicorn, but it was like so hectic and truly we didn't have the research, honestly. Uh, and 
we didn't have um, like some specific numbers as a result and all all these um, we need we had to include the into portfolio to make it uh, look good so uh, mentor um, this is another thing another story um, I'll, I'll stop I'll stop share for a moment but mentor um, I felt that I'm stuck and I can't uh, unstuck myself <laughs> so because I don't know how to like uh, I was writing putting some information together and I understood that it's just not work it doesn't work even though like I had I opened tons of the portfolios of other designers I just didn't understand how how can I write something that I have no idea like what is the result I have no idea <laughs> like it's just they're still building it like how should how do how I supposed to write it and uh, so on so uh mentor was very very helpful and um I honestly it's really hard to find one and and I and I asked like again all my friends designers and nobody had time mm -hmm. <laughs> for that and even one friend she said oh you actually and I'm like I'll pay you I'll pay you money please just just like just help me with the with the portfolio just let let's do like this coach sessions and then they said no sorry we're not interested and one friend she told me you probably will never find a, a coach because like why would it be interested interesting for designers and um one week later i actually found one girl who was a youtube um uh youtube like i don't know uh, she was just sharing her experience uh i wouldn't say she's a blogger but she's like a designer who was sharing her experience so i just wrote her <laughs> <laughs> they call them <laughs> yeah so i just wrote her and she said yeah i am actually currently looking for for a new job so i'm in between jobs i have time and uh, reach out to me if you need her contact i don't know if she works with people right now but her like working with her it was like the second um thing would like really really helped me uh we had i remember like seven sessions and i think four or five of them we spent on the first case the second, I only need like two two meetings with her, and then for the third, I will I just checked in one time just to if I'm doing this right. What did she say? How you can uh, make something looking good if you're not even sure if it's good? <laughs> yes, she was. Um, first of all, she she had a zoom out from this project. Uh, she she wasn't involved in it emotionally, so she. Uh, as a, as a mentor she uh, she dived in into the project so, so she really understand it really good uh, um, but then she zoomed out and uh, she was helping me to uh, tell the story so it's logical and uh, powerful and uh, selling in a good way and um, uh, I don't know how how much time it would take me to do something similar, but I think mentor, especially if you do this the first time, it's like critical. It was like super critical for me at that time. <laughs> then I have a next question for you. Are you ready to be a mentor in our community? <laughs> do you have time for that? Or like how many people you could mentor? Um can people reach out and ask questions about like design or portfolio? I want to uh, I want to try like I do have this passion for education uh, and especially I remember how I was trying to find information and it was so hard and uh, like everyone what I like all all friends designers that I was asking they were not like not too involved into 
my problem or what I need and they were like too general so mm -hmm. I believe that mentor is uh, important and critical like super important critical so I want to because it was so important for me I want to help the same way for uh, to other people so I want to try and see how it goes goes okay so yeah if we have uh, designers from the community you can reach out to Xenia uh, on our telegram and on mighty network if you're there already uh we are running a bit late with time um if anyone has questions from the audience let's answer some questions uh you can unmute yourself you can uh, switch on the video or we also have a chat you can leave your questions in the chat for xenia and while people are coming up with questions uh Let's do a small recap maybe of like portfolio and presentation. So basically you need two different things. Uh, you need a designer design portfolio, you need a presentation. Uh, it's basically the same, but it's a bit more personal and it's like an essence of your portfolio presented in a nice way. Uh, and in portfolio, you should have three to four projects. Did I get it right? Not more? Yeah, no. So three to four projects and you need to explain like which uh, problems you had uh, and how and, and what solution you found and also do some conclusions and learnings. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the presentation, uh, how many slides actually I didn't get? <laughs> you had 53, like 53 is a good number? Or like yeah. should... 53 okay. was actually about 25 minutes. Uh, so I guess, let's say, for first, uh, um, uh, first eight was about about uh, the beginning, and uh, like uh, about general information. So let's say twenty per per case, I would mm -hmm. say. But also another important thing that um, every slide it should be very clean in case of like very little text and one image not more why because uh, when they listen to you they read at the same time and if it's too much information they would read it but they would forget to listen to you so mm -hmm. it's better to show something uh, on the slide uh like and and then add on top with your words like explain more with with the words uh, this was another feedback when i already started to prepare to the interview for the facebook for the full time uh to from the con uh, from contractor to full timer they were um, uh listen like we went through my uh, portfolio uh and they were sharing this feedback that it should be clean and almost empty. Mm -hmm. And how much time you had to present it? With just three uh, slides? Yeah, the, the, the same, the same, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, okay. Uh, so we have a first question. Uh, Ksenia, what would you recommend to look for creating such presentation? Um, I didn't really get a question. <laughs> I think, uh, as a, correct me if I'm wrong, you're trying to understand um, like what to put there, like how to find the project or something like that. This can you please uh, tell me if I understand correctly? Lena, do you want to unmute, unmute yourself and ask? Ah, to look. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, guys. Hello. Uh, so my English is still not perfect, but I I were trying to ask uh, uh, what examples I can I can see for create such pre presentation like like yours. Yeah, for the presentation, there is only one YouTube video uh, that I found where the guy he was showing his presentation that got him to the YouTube, like Facebook and Apple. Uh, I can send the video later. And he showed like a little part of his presentation. So this was the only example. Uh, and ask, try to ask your friends uh, to show their presentation as well, friends, designers, if you have. Um, 
we will we will uh, uh, do a small recap of this uh, webinar and also share the recording and uh, we will ask for some links from Xenia and post it uh, in our group on Telegram. And because it's like so similar to the website portfolio, there are a lot of um, web website portfolios of designers. So I was looking, I was searching for them. For example, I opened LinkedIn. I found like product designer of some company and I clicked there and I saw if they have a website there. So uh, usually when I was creating the portfolio in front of me, there were like about 20, 15, op um, I opened like 15 different other portfolios of other designers I was trying to understand like the structure like and how they build it so like examples of other designers maybe we should create something like a support design design support group <laughs> mm -hmm. so everyone can share their portfolios and like uh, presentations and maybe like give each other advice or something would be cool uh, we have another question from Ilya. Uh, hey, Xenia, thanks for the presentation. Uh, what are the books or courses you found impactful uh, for your design skills? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, there are, um, there are, there is a book how to prepare yourself to the product design interviews. Uh, like you should know that there are there are some design, very specific design interviews that you are going to go through. And uh, let me find, or I can share it later, like in a, in a chat, but um, I can try to find right now, there are some product sol solving uh, book. It's about, about the courses i honestly didn't go through any course so this i can't uh, share uh, but uh how did you learn figma for example you just like uh, because they have courses right figma has their own uh, design courses did you go through them no, no. I, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, I actually had another mentor <laughs> oh, okay i mean um yeah probably Probably this is my way to learn. I usually learn by myself through through the YouTube and through some practice. And if I am stuck with something, I would better find one person whom I can constantly ask questions. And uh, I feel better when I pay this person. Sometimes uh, mentors might be for free, but I feel much better to pay them because they feel more rights to ask questions. So this is my best way of learning is to have one per person that we i can uh, ask but no figma has a lot of youtube videos so it's easy to to learn yeah they have also a very strong community of designers i guess they're uh, like uh, you can receive a lot of help from there as well uh yeah <laughs> did you find the book but it's okay you can send the link and we can share it later yeah, I think, um, yeah, maybe later because I can't find it. Yeah, I'll share the link to the community now uh, yeah. in the chat. Mm -hmm. So for people who are- a... Oh, I found one, some, something really great. I'll, um, uh, first is the website, uh, first is the website um, with the UX flows. And second is um, kind of like what also helped me to do my my portfolio is um, analysis of onboarding experiences for product designers. I also share it um, because right now it's probably it's like big link. I'll actually I'll share it on the Telegram with the, our team community. Also sharing some of some stuff. Uh, in my telegram under hashtag is is only russian sorry so if you're russian speaking <laughs> um it's under polyazne which means in, in english uh useful so i i share some product designer stuff there what's your telegram channel 
Designer link. Des designer so Silicon Valley. <laughs> okay, designer in Silicon Valley. Okay, we will share the link to the uh, to your channel as well. Yeah, but it's only for Russian speaking, and there are a lot of uh, some. It's not. It's less design for designers. It's more for I don't know, life answer seekers. <laughs> <laughs> um okay i think um any more questions dun, dun, dun. all useful links i'll share in uh, telegram of the air team community so some books and some um, links where you can pick up something for your portfolio perfect Yes, if you're not in the community yet, I just send the link uh, to the community in the chat. Please join. We have a lot of uh, useful information for designers, marketeers, web developers, and we're doing a webinar every week on different uh, topics. Uh, thank you so much, Xenia, for joining us today. And thanks, everyone, for uh, for coming. And um, yeah, we will send a recording in the chat uh, as well as uh, some useful links. Uh, and have a great day, everyone. Become designers. Designers are the best. Yes. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>